back with another video on easy math okay on previous friday we started the topic locus okay today we are going to continue that by circles okay circles is an interesting and important topic first let's start by definition okay in previous video while defining locus we take an example of circle this is the same a circle is defined as locus of point which moves in a plane this is the plane which moves in a plane such that its distance from a fixed point as you can see here c is the fixed point in that plane is always constant c lies on the plane we have taken and fixed point in the plane o the distance cp is always constant that is called as radius and that fixed point is called as circle okay now what is equation of circle okay equation of a circle means the equation of the circumference which denotes the point p which is at a fixed distance from c or we can define that as it is the locus of c the equation of locus of c with the condition of fixed distance cp which is radius we can use constants which depend on the position position of the center and length of the radius okay now what is the basic equation of a circle with some center and some length a and some center x comma y okay now the equation is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to a square this is the equation of a circle with center c h comma k and some point on the locus p x comma y and radius a okay now can we derive this okay now how can we derive this think of it easily now here p c the length of p c is a okay now how to calculate distance between p and c we know the formula root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square okay x2 now p c is equal to a now if we square on both sides because we have a square on the rhs then it becomes p c square is equal to a square okay now what is p c square root of x means x2 and x1 means h x minus h whole square plus y2 y y1 k y minus k whole square is equal to a square now here we square down both sides and the square and the square root will get nullified so we get the equation as x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to a square this is the relation between the coordinates of any point on the circumference the circumference means it's the outline of a circle so it is the equation of circle with radius equal to a and center h comma k there are some special cases the first case is when the circle passes through the origin what is the equation of circle if it passes through the origin o be the origin and c be the center h comma k okay now o c is equal to radius a okay now how can we prove that to prove this it is easy now here in the equation we will get x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to a square so we just need to derive a square okay now a square means nothing but distance between o and c o is 0 comma 0 c is h comma k okay what is the distance between origin and a point it is root h square plus x square so a is equal to root h square plus k square then what if we square on both sides it becomes a square is equal to h square plus k square 
Now if we substitute that in the equation, it becomes x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to h square plus k square. Or we can write that as x minus h whole square becomes, uh, it is in the form of a minus b whole square. So it becomes x square minus 2hx plus h square. And y minus k whole square becomes y square minus 2ky plus k square is equal to h square plus k square. h square and this h square cancels and k square and this k square cancels out. So we get the following equation. Okay, now what is the equation of a circle if the circle touches x-axis? When it touches x-axis, okay, now how can we derive this? Okay, if the circle touches x-axis, then what will be the distance between, distance between C and M? It will be K. How it is? Because here the y-coordinate is K, means distance between origin and y-axis. It will be parallel the distance between O and the y coordinate, the distance between the origin and the y coordinate is equal to the distance between C and M. How is this possible? Because those two are parallel. It forms a rectangle. So, these two are equal. So, A is equal to K. Now, if we substitute that in the equation, it becomes X minus H whole square plus a is equal to k. So y minus a whole square, it substitutes k is equal to a square. x square plus y square minus 2hx minus 2ay. Now here x minus h whole square becomes x square minus 2hx plus h square. And y minus a whole square becomes y square minus 2hx plus a square. That a square cancels out with this a square. So we get the following equation. Now, what if the circle touches y-axis? Okay, it will be same but in the opposite direction. Here, A will be H. Right? In the same way as before. A is equal to H. So, the equation, it substitutes and the equation becomes like this. X square minus 2x minus 2ky plus k square is equal to 0. Now, when the circle touches both axes, how to solve? In this case, it touched x-axis, so we took x, a is equal to k. It, tu it touched y-axis, so we took a is equal to h. If it touches both the axes, then it becomes a is equal to h is equal to k. Then the equation becomes a, x minus a whole square plus y minus a whole square is equal to a square. If you expand that, the a square of x minus a whole square cancels out this a square and 1a square will be remaining. So the equation becomes x square plus y square minus 2x minus 2a y plus a square is equal to 0. Okay, now our sixth case. This is the picture for the fifth case. Now let's discuss about our sixth case. When the circle passes through origin and center lies on x axis. Okay, now, how can we solve this? Okay, if center lies on x-axis, y-coordinate will be 0 and x-coordinate will be a. Now, if we find the... Okay, now here k will be 0 and h will be a. Then the equation of the circle is x minus a whole square plus y minus 0 whole square is equal to a square. The a square of x minus a whole square cancels out this a square and x square minus 2x remains here y square. Therefore, the equation is x square plus y square minus 2x is equal to 0. Now, our seventh case. In our seventh case, the circle passes through origin and center lies on y axis. It will be the inverse of this. Here, x minus 0 whole square it becomes and y minus a whole square. So, we will get x square plus y square minus 2ay is equal to 0. Okay guys, this is for today's video. If you like the video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, ring that bell icon, hit notify you when I release a new video. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I will answer them in the next video.